Oh baby, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Gameplay Today. I'm Alex Stadnick, and friends, I don't even I don't even want to tell you who I have on. You're gonna freak out on this week's episode. We have Marcus Stewart. Hey, are you sufficiently freaked out? Oh, just wait, because we also uh, rare appearance Brian Shea. It's me. I'm here. Hello. And then, uh, as I understand it, a little bit of royalty. We have the the anime king on himself, Dan Pack. Wow, are we going to make this a thing? Please don't make this a thing. All right, <laughs> welcome to New Gameplay Today, everyone. Uh, we are playing uh, Getso Fumiden, the uh, Konami side-scrolling uh, roguelike. Um, and Dan, you've put a decent amount of time into this, correct? A decent amount of time, you know, I've played through a few levels. This is uh, this is out uh, today, I believe, on Steam and Early Access. Yes. Uh, again, Early Access is going to last a while, coming to Switch as the other announced platform next year as they continue to uh, tinker away with this. This is by Konami, I know, right? Yes, insert joke about this not being a pachinko machine here. <laughs> Wait, uh, this isn't Metal it, Gear? Yeah. I, this doesn't I, look I like know, soccer. Right? So Konami and Guru Guru are developing this. I'm not quite sure about the other company. I've never really heard of them. Um, this is also, as crazy as this sounds, this is a follow-up to a game that happened in like the NES era of games. I know, right? Right? Why? So I wasn't sure if it was a follow-up or if it was a remaster, but it is a follow-up, correct? Okay, it's, it's not a remaster. Okay. I'll tell you that, but I, I don't know if it's follow-up. Okay. I, I just, it, I have no idea contextually. I haven't gone back and watched the, the NES videos from the original except for yeah. like a few seconds, but. For sure. It's so a yeah, hotly like anticipated said, sequel. <laughs> action roguelike. Yep. If you're familiar with stuff like, uh, I don't know, what do you want to compare this to? Dead Alex? Cells, Dead Cells 110%. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was... It is. It feels a little bit more slower paced. Not necessarily a bad thing, um, but I was, you know, going to the, picking up the the weapons and the upgrades. Right. It was. I was like, oh, this is Dead Cells, and I I'm kind of here for it. So maybe a little bit of Salt and Sanctuary mixed in. Uh, you know, Salt and Sanctuary really really about permanent progression, more of a Soulsy game. I, I think the Dead Cells comparison is spot on. Obviously, you have a really unique, and interesting art style here. But they're going for like sort of this you know, tapestry from uh, Japanese, right? Yeah. Japanese tapestry kind of look. It's, mm -hmm. It feels very painted and, and interesting when you play it. Uh, it can it can be, you know, I've noticed it can, some, during some fights it can be kind of chaotic with that kind of style, yep. but I think overall it works for the game. Yeah, 100%, I agree with you. That was one of my main uh, gripes about my time with it, right? especially when there's multiple enemies filling the screen. It's like, oh, I don't like through my strikes because you see those like colorful waves coming off the end uh, the strikes right it looks cool but when there's three or four enemies and some are flying around like we'll see later it's like i don't know what's happening and it, in the beginning and i would imagine further on too like they hit hard and the, like the enemy up there yeah. like he hits you like four times and you're dead and um it wasn't an ab aggressive challenge but like you definitely had to stay on your toes when I was playing it. I noticed, especially during during some boss battles, that it was hard to like be able to concentrate on everything with all the, the the colors and things going on. But overall, again, I kind of like it how they've taken this art style and, and turned it into a game, if if you will. It's uh, it's very intriguing, and, and I've I've I'm curious about this one in the long term. Obviously, early access is early access, but uh, you'll be able to get your hands on it today if this does look cool to you. Yeah. How does it feel to play? Like, is it? Feel as fluid and fast paced as Dead Sails. It looks somewhat deliberate. Maybe that's as, a, as Alex said, it's a little bit. A lot of the weapons, uh, some of your speed options are governed by your weaponry, and yep. you yeah. basically start with swords and spears and clubs, which are kind of slow. You'll be able to get faster options later, as well as other options. Uh, there's a lot of different stuff you can use, but yes, in general, I'd say that you are thinking about your actions a little bit more in this game before engaging sure. uh, with particular types of enemies. Definitely. I, you know, I, I gravitated more to like, I'm using the, the katana here, but they they also have like a brawler uh, weapon set. I, I don't remember what the, the actual weapon's called, but I liked the faster swings because once you, in my experience with it, once you started to swing, you couldn't cancel out of it. So you had to be careful of that, which I didn't necessarily love because I like the ability to <laughs> quickly, uh, uh, make amends for my mistakes as someone's taking a swing at me. Um, so that, it, yeah. it, it slows the pace down a little bit and may, maybe isn't as fluid as I, was, as, as I would like, you know? 
Yeah, I noticed Alex had got a strategy down there, you know, with those Oni. He takes a couple of swings and then he, you know, then he dodge rolls. Mm-hmm. That's pro. Alex, you're going to be a pro Souls player in no time. You better believe it. You're, <laughs> I feel like you're you're training me with the Returnal and, and, and the, the, the like. So um, if you if you guys look at the bottom, uh, you see like main plus, sub plus, health plus, potion. Those are basically you can get souls or are, are, are the souls. Yeah, and, I think yeah. they're canonically called souls, so it's fine to say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, they will like you, the enemies will randomly drop them. Right. And you have the option to click. I was using the controller, so I think it was right stick. But when you click it down, you're like I got a health boost. You can see that my health yep. went up six, uh, right. 600. Um, and it seemed to be kind of randomized. My experience, Tack, was that the same for you? Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's a way to do it. I think I, I had basically, I think in my playthroughs, I had to distribute evenly, but maybe I was just doing it wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, that's very possible. And and it should be noted that this is not a pure roguelike either. There is permanent progression aspects. You'll collect special items on a run that you can spend back at the main base to uh, permanently increase your character in a, in a number of various ways, which is now quite kind of the standard for roguelikes moving forward. For sure, which uh, as, some, yeah. as someone who wasn't a roguelike fan until like Dead Cells in Hades came out, like I I appreciate that. So, yeah. I, I love the art style. Yeah. Like yeah. That, that background just now is amazing. Right. Yeah, and, it, and believe me, some of the stages later on, they look really cool. Like this one is kind of like, this one in the second level kind of like, they're kind of aggressive on the eyes. Some of the other ones, the later ones, are a little bit more kinder, uh, less raw. I mean, I like the way these look, but they're like really like second stage, especially like all fire and stuff. For sure. Now this, the bosses in this game are oh, very good cool with their tapestry, yeah. you know, yep. style. Yeah. I got, not, maybe not in difficulty, but I got kind of like Cuphead vibes from the, the presentation of it. And um, I, I, fellas, you ready to see some pro gameplay here? I, I am that bomb you threw. That was pro style. Ooh, all right? You just wait. M- MLG Alex right here. <laughs> I've been impressed with Alex's bomb strategy this entire session. Thank you. I've been on too many NGTs where I just, you know, crap the bed on my my play. So it was nice to nice to change that up for change. Yeah, I'm impressed with this guy's bone teeth. <laughs> yeah, what's going on here? Teeth bone. You think about it. Yeah. I guess they yeah. are, but this guy especially. <laughs> But yeah, so you got yeah, away at him either, like yeah. piece by piece there. You do. He's kind of big, as you can see. You've got that huge health bar on top. Typical boss structure. I don't know if you've heard of these video game things, but bosses have these big health bars you got to whack away at. <laughs> You're kidding? Familiar. Oh, down, Look at this. Bang! I, oh! That was, that was well done, Alex. Not today. Not today. That's I don't want to cool jinx move, it, but I don't know if I take a hit in this. I mean, you just, this is, this is like, this is fantastic play. How many tries did it give you to pick this, Alex? This is like perfect. One perfect and done, play. baby. What are you talking All about? Right. Nope, there's a hit, damn it. Yeah, it took me a couple of tries. Yeah. <laughs> Jinx yourself. Yeah, that's okay. Retroactively. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I will say this level looks, the, the, all the levels I played really have their own awesome visual style. And they get a little better later on too. Um, and that, that alone, I guess, kind of makes this kind of worth checking out in a way. Um, the roguelike elements, nothing is like new or stand out there, I don't think. But no. that's okay too. Yeah. Like, this, we'll have to see as it gets further in. But if you like roguelikes and you like action games and you like uh, tapestry, <laughs> Japanese art style, is that what this? I don't even know what that would call. You're a big tapestry <laughs> fan. This game is for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan of checking out tapestries. Uh, <laughs> no, and, and also it draws upon like a lot of like ancient Japanese lore for the uh, you know for all the various uh, demons and other things that you fight too. So that's also cool. For sure, yeah. And see, so you mentioned this game's in early access. How how much game is there right now? Like, is he the only That's boss that you come across? Or? No, no. But I haven't played through all of what's there, so I'm not sure. I uh, I, I only got to the second level. We're gonna show you quick, just a, a quick peek at the the second level here, and then we're gonna go. But um, I I think. I'm curious to hear what they they're adding to this experience because what is there of what I've played at the first two levels is very I felt like it was very solid uh, a pretty polished experience outside of those gripes with you know the losing yourself on the screen a bit and then also like um, like not being able to, to cancel out of your attacks and stuff like that I, I would hope maybe that's something they look at but we'll see. Right, so what I think is coming, just to be quick here, I think I think they're like adding another playable character or even more, and of course more stages. Okay. I like that. But I think this is one of those examples of early access where like, you know, they get the 
a couple levels really done, but then everything else isn't really, you know, I, I don't know how, again, I don't know how many are in here right now. I haven't played through every, all the content yet. For sure. Um, but it's definitely not all here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Geez. What's going on back there? I see pots of blood or, or stew overflowing with some giant dudes. What's, what's the story there? Yeah, this is uh, stage two. This is a hellfire cliff. So this is like just a fiery... I, I, you know, it's it's hell fire. <laughs> it's it's hell. It sells half. itself. Yeah, like above him, there's like a big old overflowing pot of blood. Yeah, man. And, and, and as forever. you go down through the stages, like I said, they get. I think the the ones later on look a little. There's like a there's like a misty, a misty bridge realm, and of course there's one with like wave the, the wave one. You're gonna love the wave one, Alex. Okay? Oh, I can't. I'm a big wave there's, fan. There's one with like giant giant waves. And we, we've all seen those. You know. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, you know, old, I'm sure you've seen it, like the Japanese art style for the old waves and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool. Very, very cool level. You're going to, that one's, I think people are going to really gravitate toward that one. But Every uh, every favorite hipster's tattoo, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Pretty accurate. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Look at this. Alex is going pro gamer and he's making jokes. This I'm, is, uh, I'm getting my tight five together, folks. You just wait. Yeah. <laughs> This almost the reminds me of show all the way. Oh, way. <laughs> yeah, just the kind of the use of like 2.5D there, it almost gives me uh, Bloodstain vibes a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, just with a completely different art style, but someone that loves these kind of games, I'm sure. Like, my ears are very much perked right now. Like, okay, like. Yeah, yeah and this, this again, firmly in the Roguevania category. If you want to. Ooh, Roguevania. I don't, I don't Rogue. mind using terms like this. I think they're descriptive and they tell people a lot about the game with little, with little. So, you know. There you go. That's a good word. That, let's do it. Yeah. Well, you love to see it. Well, Dan, can you say again when uh, when the fine people can play this? This is out today in early access on Steam, and it will be out on. Uh, we know final launch is coming to Switch in, sometime in 2022. We have no idea about. Uh, they haven't announced anything as far as other platforms and release times. For sure. Definitely a a, um, a Hades kind of structure to that, right? Hades was was in early access for, for a while and then finally came to Switch, um, which right. I, it, you're speaking my language. So um, <laughs> gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. Viewers, thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about the game, be sure to head over to GameInformer.com and we have a bunch of really awesome content up on the YouTube page as well, youtube.com slash GameInformer. Thank you so much and we will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>